Welcome back to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. You can always download our shows on my website, shalomkline.com, or wherever your podcasts, your, wherever your favorite podcasts can be found. Uh, it's not often that we have a certified franchise consultant on the program, and Eddie Rodriguez has been exactly that for over 15 years. He's the founder and CEO of the franchise, Taylor. Eddie, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Shalom. Absolutely. It's an honor. So um, I've been fascinated with franchise for years, and I know so have you, and that's why you, you're in this line of work. You're the franchise tailor. Uh, let's start with that name itself. Where did that come up from, and what's the message you're hoping to convey to those listening and those interested like me in the topic? Well, funny you should ask. Prior to my, my career as a certified franchise consultant and Forbes Coaches Council member, I was in the, fran uh, the apparel industry, the fashion industry. I'm a member of the Council of Fashion Designers of America. And so I thought it was very apropos to name my company the Franchise Tailor because I truly tailor our services to every individual's needs, wants, passions about what they want their best next life to look like. I love it. I love it. That's uh, that's awesome. I love the love the title. It's sort of where your worlds collide, and where you're, you're you're able to bring all things together. And I hear the passion in your voice. So, um, Eddie, I know over 15 years ago you started your uh, franchise consulting life. So, what is a franchise consultant, and why does it matter to our listeners? What's the benefits of franchising? Yeah. Um, for your listeners, if you Google franchising. Um, you will immediately be overwhelmed. It is a huge industry. Many people try to do this on their own, and uh, I've heard of many mistakes. Um, whether it's me or any other experienced, certified franchise consultant, they will add tremendous value um, to your search because they will focus on a lot of factors that are meaningful to you as a client whether it's your lifestyle goals, financial goals, short, long-term, if you want a legacy business, if you want to be an owner operator or an absentee owner, some people just want to diversify their portfolio and have a second income stream. So they don't want a, an ownership opportunity that requires them to be in the business, just maybe 10 hours a week, kind of checking on the business and having a manager report to them. Our expertise and our vast portfolio adds tremendous value. And the Federal Trade Commission legally, uh, literally refuses to allow franchise companies to charge a client one more penny for utilizing our services. So there's the value. Uh, it's a huge value. So definitely, there's there's benefits of franchising. I've already I've already heard some of the things that you've said, Eddie, about the values of this over sort of that independent business ownership, which is important. And it sounds like it's a good investment strategy as well. So, what should entrepreneurs, which is the bulk of our audience over here, entrepreneurs, business owners, know before they buy a franchise? I believe that's the right term, buying a franchise. Yeah, the, the, the difference, for example, A, last year a lot of people got hit hard in the stock market. If you have a startup, if you want to invest as an angel investor in a startup, only about 17, one seven percent of those are still open two years later. Franchises are established businesses. They're validated. There are other people currently operating those franchises that are successful. You can speak to them and validate it yourself. So franchises mitigate risk. They are a safer option in investing in a business because they've been created, validated. They come with tremendous support, technology, marketing, operations, and otherwise. So your chances of succeeding are far greater than a startup. And sometimes, like last year, far greater than investing in the stock market. So whether you want to be an owner operator and transition out of you know, rat race corporate America and own your own thing, but with support, or you want to diversify your portfolio while mitigating risk, investing in a franchise is a good option. 
Okay, fantastic. Again, I'm chatting with Eddie Rodriguez, who has been a certified franchise consultant for over 15 years, um, but a 30 plus year successful entrepreneur, um, which is great. So I'm a storyteller, Eddie. Eddie, before we cut to break, I'd love to hear a success story, somebody that you've been working with, that you've been able to to help them um, research the best option, the best fit for them, and you know, hopefully their success. Wow, picking one is... Uh... Quite the question. I, I've I've helped place hundreds of people in in franchise opportunities. I'll tell you an interesting one. We work with a lot of uh, candidates, like in Canada or in South America, that want to come into this country legally with an E two or EB five visa. So what they do is invest in franchise opportunities because immigration lawyers love that franchises are registered with the federal government. I placed a young lady recently um, who came here from the country of Chile, literally leaving a, the new government there that is not very friendly. Um, and she has started her business along with her husband and her two kids in an essential service business um, that mitigates risk. There's no brick and mortar involved, low cost, very high margins. And she's now up to three different territories. So it gives me great pleasure as an immigrant myself to help those that want to come to America legally build a, a life here, build a business here, employ people, pay taxes, and succeed in America. So that's okay. one of hundreds. I'm sure there's, we could go on and on and we just don't have enough time. But Eddie, I mean, that's a fantastic story and a fantastic example of success. So congratulations. And I know each story is independent and unique and you take a uh, tailor approach, no pun intended over here, um, to each individual uh, uh, entrepreneur. We've got to cut to a quick break. We'll be right back and get down to business. Don't touch that dial. Welcome back to Get Down to Business. I'm continuing my conversation with Eddie Rodriguez, certified franchise consultant, founder and CEO of the Franchise Taylor. And perhaps more important, uh, lives in Miami with his wife, Kimberly. And uh, I know, uh, Eddie, this, uh, this line of work has been amazing because of the stories that you just shared with us of how you are changing people's lives. And it sounds like uh, you've created a great life for yourself as well after uh, cutting out of uh, some of the rat race. Um, so, you know, each, each story is unique. Um, but Eddie, for somebody that's tuning in, an entrepreneur, uh, a business owner, just somebody interested in making a change, where do they start in franchising? Well, my best advice is to find, really do research and find a certified franchise consultant like myself to help them navigate uh, the vast waters of franchising because it is huge. Franchises, much to people's surprise, exist in every industry imaginable. Most people think of franchises in the food business, McDonald's, Subway, you know, Papa John's Pizza, et cetera. They exist in when you fill up your gas tank, that's a franchise. You go to FedEx Kinko's, that's a franchise. So is the UPS store and I can go on and on. If you try to navigate those vast waters on your own, most people will probably get a migraine headache because it's thousands and thousands of opportunities. So my best advice is to seek a certified franchise expert with lots of experience to help understand what you're truly looking for. And the mission that I wake up every morning with, it's up on my whiteboard, is help somebody today find their best next life by becoming an entrepreneur through franchise ownership. I'm affiliated with a very large group, an award-winning group called IFPG. Um, we represent over 540 of the best franchise brands in America. I always like to say I don't have a dog in the fight. I listen to what my clients want, what they don't want, what their goals are. And then I select probably five or six to introduce to them those brands that I, I feel check off all their boxes. And that is usually the best approach for people to take because it narrows the field. And, and I keep working with my clients until we exhaust opportunities that, that might be right for them. And, and they make whatever decision that they deem is good for, for, their, for their life. 
Oh, fantastic. Well, Eddie, that's that's why we're having you on because of that amazing network you're a part of and the the options you can provide. I know that uh, the options range in uh, professional services, um, in uh, vending, in retail, everything under the sun. Um, but the best way for folks to learn more is I know getting in touch with you and you make it pretty easy. You've got a website and I know you're pretty accessible, but how can we get in touch with you if we want to learn more? Sure. Old school. Pick up the phone. My direct line at my office is 305-460-9925 or feel free to email me at eddie, E-D-D-I-E, at the franchise tailor, T-A-I-L-O-R.com, eddie at the franchise tailor.com. And I'd be happy to, to, you know, get on an introductory call to see if I can be of help. Awesome. The franchise tailor.com. I love it um, because Eddie Rodriguez is indeed the franchise tailor. Thanks so much for sharing your passion, your expertise with our listeners. Um, we'll share your contact information in the show notes as well. Um, but appreciate you uh, joining us here. And I look forward to having you back on real soon. So that's a wrap for us here on the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship this week. What a fantastic lineup we've had. Certainly learned a lot from all of our guests um, and a great way to wrap up in learning about uh, entrepreneurship opportunities, entrepreneurial opportunities um, for you to consider. Um, We'll share all of the contact information for our guests um, as well as some additional resources through the show notes, um, which again, you can find on my website, shalomkline.com, or you can, of course, uh, download Download any of the past 10 plus years of shows on your favorite podcast app. But be sure while you're there to rate, review, uh, because it makes it honestly uh, easier for your colleagues to find out about the program. So to success, let's get down to business. We'll talk to you next Sunday right here on AM560, The Answer, or wherever your favorite podcast can be found. Have a great week.